In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your PayPal account to your BrightPearl system. So first of all log into your PayPal account and then from the profile tab go to my selling preferences. Then we come down here and we have a look at the API access section and hit update. You've got two options here. One is to grant API permissions to a third party and the other is to request API credentials. What we need is option two. So click here to get your own API signature. Once you've got your API signature, copy the username, the password and the signature string. Now go back to your BrightPearl account and then click Setup and then the left hand side, Integrations, PayPal. Enter your PayPal email address. Choose a bank account into which your PayPal fees will be paid. This is just for the accounting, this doesn't actually affect where they'll be paid to. And I've got a PayPal account here. Now every time you receive funds through PayPal, you get charged a fee. And for correct bookkeeping, you need to transfer that fee out of your bank account into another nominal code. And that's what this one's here for. You can create a new nominal account, such as a 6000 code, or you can use an existing code, such as bank fees. And let's just choose that one here, bank charges. For the rest of the page, fill out your API username, your password, and your API key, and then hit save. That now connects to PayPal and actually tells you your current balance. And you can see here that 946 is coming through as we expect to see from our PayPal account. We can also see now on the bank account screen that for the bank account we've selected as our PayPal account, we're also getting the balance through here from PayPal. Now, of course, in BrightPool, I've not actually done any accounting yet, so my balance is zero. Let's download some transactions automatically from PayPal and do a bit of bookkeeping. Let's view the PayPal log, which is currently going to be empty, and click Synchronize Now. This has downloaded the transactions from PayPal, and using these, we can create accounting transactions. So select the ones you want to create accounting transactions for, and you can see here that the gross amount is 10, less a fee of 54 pence. Click that, create accounting transactions. Choose the type of revenue, so it might be sales of goods, it might be sales of services, and so on. Let's say this is sales of services, and whether it's taxable or not. If you choose taxable, tax will be taken off the gross amount. If you want to transfer a fee from your PayPal bank account into the fee account, tick the box here. And you can see where we chose bank charges a while ago, this is the default option for us. All I need to do is click Create Transactions. It'll create two journals in the accounts for me. So PayPal says my bank balance is 946. And if I now go to my bank account screen, BrightPearl also tells me my balance is 946, so the two are in sync. In BrightPearl, I can view my transactions to see exactly what's going on. And you can see here we've had a deposit of 10 and a withdrawal of 54 for the fee. But what if this PayPal receipt is for an order or for an invoice that you sent out of BrightPearl? You don't just want to create a £10 deposit as a bank receipt. So let's go and unconnect this transaction and go and enter it against the order. So we go back to our PayPal log via the bank account screen. And then for the one we want to disconnect, click and choose Detach from Accounts. We need to copy the transaction ID and link it to the sale. So let's copy that and find the relevant sale. Here's the sale for £10 that we want to connect to that PayPal transaction. At the bottom of the screen, click Allocate PayPal Transaction. Paste the PayPal transaction ID and click Allocate. This will create a sales receipt against the sales order and connected it in the PayPal log. So if we now go back to the PayPal log via the bank account screen, we can see that this transaction has been connected for £10. However, the fee will still need to be allocated, so we go to Create Accounting Transactions and just transfer the fee. So that's the process when a PayPal fee relates to a quote or an order. I can go back to the order ID simply by clicking the link in the PayPal log, and we can see at the bottom right of the screen that we've had 10 paid already. On the accounting information, we can see that the customer's account balance is minus 10, because we've taken payment but not yet invoiced the sale. So let's invoice the sale and close the process. We can now see that the customer's balance is zero and see the full financial history. And here's the sales receipt with PayPal transaction ID 
and then the sales invoice against the same order ID.